paid by lack of storage space. I just need to amp myself up with knowledge. I need to be able to figure out what I'm not doing to be able to, you know, provide my family with the care that they need. And, you know, I mean, maybe this is a point of desperation where it's like I'm going to, like, a media outlet for, you know, help. And, you know, I do recognize that, I think it's, I can't remember how to pronounce his last name, I think it was, like, Dr. Mike Vichsap, okay, Dr. Mike Vichsapshi, the sorry, but it is Russian, I'm predominantly English, sorry, Dr. Mike, um, honestly, I just really need some help. I I need some legitimately medically based help for my family because if not then I'm not going to be able to take care of them like I'm supposed to. And honestly, like you know, it's like it I can grasp things. It's not like I don't have the capacity to be able to learn. It's that I'm having to learn in a very short amount of time. You know, it's like all of a sudden, you know, it's like going from having no knowledge at all to having the knowledge of a nephrologist, having the knowledge of, like, yeah, you know, any kind of basic doctor, you know. It's like I have to have these tidbits of knowledge in order to take care of my family, and it's like it would take like, an average person, years and years upon years of experience, which is why I'm trying to contact somebody who has a literal PhD in medicine. So I legitimately need your help, and it's not that... You know, I'm not trying to... I, I don't even want a lot of my family's background on television or on YouTube or on social media. I just need help. So, if you could please, like, you know, I could give you, like, my address, and you could give me information, we could write letters back and forth, it doesn't have to be mediatized at all, if you want it mediatized, you know, like, there are certain things that I don't want on media, there are certain things that people could benefit from having on media that I would like to post, but honestly, I'm to the point where I don't know what to do anymore and I legitimately need help getting this information quickly as quickly as I possibly can and you know like I, I am going to reiterate that it has nothing to do with wanting to be on tv or wanting to like be like wanting to know Dr. Mike I don't I mean, in general, I mean, I guess if you want to know me, you can, but I'm not like, I'm not like these other people that are thriving for some kind of fandom or some kind of fame. I just, I'm lost. I'm legitimately lost right now. So if you could please, yeah, if we could please like maybe write letters back and forth. I know I said that I would write letters before, but, you know, my own life has been kind of hectic, too, like, between the medicine stuff and then my work, like, my on-the-clock work and then my work off-the-clock with, you know, helping with, you know, my roommate's hobbies and all that, all of that stuff. It's, like, it's kind of hard to write a letter, and even then, it's, like, hard to be able to figure out exactly, you know, what I don't know, and then, like, how much information that I can research, and how much, I am relying on Google, Google is not a reliable medical resource, and I, I, I'm lost, I don't know what to do, so, Dr. Mike, if you could please help me figure out how to, address the issues that I'm talking about, you know, 
you could write me a letter, or I could write you a letter, or something. You know, I don't want to be stalkerish and, like, look on your Facebook, or I don't even have Instagram, I don't have Twitter. Like, I don't want to be, like, stalkerish and be like, oh, I'm going to look his name up on Twitter, or on, or I don't even have Twitter, on Facebook, or on YouTube, and I'm going to write this person, and I'm going to write him all kinds of times. I, I'm not like that. I just need help. Please. Help me figure this out. Thank you. You have a nice day. I'll even donate blood. I said I'd donate blood before. Um, I do have... I, I did have an iron deficiency in high school. And I barely, like... When I did blood before... In, or, when I did blood... When I gave blood before in high school... I... You know, barely made it on the iron supplement spectrum to be able to give blood. And then I tried to work retail, like, right afterwards. And it was, like, three hours in. I had to go home. I was, like, groggy, like, dizzy. So, you know, maybe I didn't give blood correctly. I have no idea. Maybe I should have actually taken the day off. I really don't know. Um... But I'd be willing to give blood again, just as long as I get some kind of advice on, you know, how I can continue about my day and actually work and function right after I gave blood. That's my only request. If I were to give blood, if you were to actually help me with this situation. Um, thank you. You have a nice day. I'm not trying to guilt trip you. Don't feel like that's a thing either. I'm just kind of desperate at this point. And I'm hoping to get any kind of advice that I possibly can on these matters. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. Appreciate your channel. And um, take care.